Hey guys, what's up? It's me, the Otaku Fangirl, here to review episode 7 of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Diamond is Unbreakable, or JoJo Part 4. So in this episode, I was surprised that there wasn't a lot of censorship with certain scenes. I was like, usually they censor stuff like, okay, I guess they kind of censored when the guy, like, stabbed his eye out, but I mean... There was a point where Hazumata, our main villain, I guess, of this episode, um, like, took one of those knife things and stuck it in a guy's mouth almost, and he didn't cut him or anything, it's just those type of things they usually censor, even if it doesn't do much, it's like, so, it's weird. Anyway, I just find it weird, there wasn't much censorment in this episode, I was like, what? But anyway, so this episode is about a guy named Hazamata, who also has a stand, of course. And his stand is called Surface. Now, the subtitle said Show Off, but he said Surface when he mentioned his stand, so I'm like, I guess it's called Surface. So anyway, in this episode, there is two Josuke's. <laughs> because, well, this stand can turn, it can look like, like, it can inhabit an object, I guess... A wooden puppet is what it inhabited this time. I don't know if it can inhabit other things, but so far we know it can inhabit a wooden puppet and act like that person it sees or it, whatever the person touches it. It just acts like that person, but it can also control that person. So it turned in to look like Josuke, and it could control Josuke. That's not good. Um, and let's see. Well... This Hazamata guy, he wants to get to Jotaro, and he thought, oh, the best way to do that is to go through Josuke. So, yeah, there was, uh, man, there were some points in this episode I was like, this is really violent. Like, usually Jojo is like a, it's a fighting shonen series, but there's just something about this episode that's like, this is really violent. This is weird. I don't know. I felt a little weird watching all these violent scenes take place. I'm like, okay, because I'm used to stands fighting each other, you know, like, that's not really violent, per se, because there's no blood, but in this episode, it's just like, there's a lot of violence in this. This is weird. Because um, I'm not used to JoJo, like, doing that. It was just odd. But anyway, in this episode, we got to see um, Josuke and Koichi being bros. It was just so great, because, like, the first time they encountered Hazamata in his stand, um, Koichi got, like, knocked out from, like, Josuke hitting him, because it wasn't his fault the, uh, the stand did or whatever, but... When uh, Koichi seemed like he was actually awake, because uh, uh, Jotaro, not Jotaro, uh, Josuke, gosh, their names are so similar, it drives me nuts. Um, Josuke healed him with his, you know, stand. They, like, did this fist bump, and I was like, man, they're such bros. Uh, also, there was a, sh there, we saw this girl um, with long black hair walking in the school, and I'm like, important character? Because you see her in the opening song, so I'm like, huh. And I'll get to her a little bit later. But, alright, so it all boiled down to where um, Josuke had to defeat this guy. And the way he did it was very clever. And I thought, oh, Josuke is actually kind of smart about this kind of thing. I'm like, oh, oh, I don't know. I just found Josuke to be really smart in this episode. I'm like, hey, he's smart. He's, he's, he's learning, you know. And I'm really starting to like Josuke more than I do Jotaro as a protagonist. Because Josuke's just like... I don't know, there's something about Josuke, I'm just like, he's way better of a protagonist than Jotaro. <laughs> I mean, yeah, come on guys, I mean, yeah, I'm sure some people would agree with me on this. I mean, still, Joseph is best Jojo, even though, eh, there's that one thing they mentioned about him um, cheating, and that kind of lowered him on my list of best Jojo, I was like, mm. but, I don't know, Josuke's getting up there, man, I'm like, yeah, yeah. But anyway, this episode was really great. I really enjoyed this episode, and just the way everything played out was really nice, and I was like, huh. So now if this Hazuma guy is gonna, like, join their group or whatever, I don't know. Because um, you see him in the opening song, like, you know, he's there. So I'm like, okay, is he gonna, like, join them or what? Like the other guy did in the previous, well, the other guy in the previous episode, Kobayashi, didn't really join them. He's just kind of helping them. So yeah. And... The title of the next episode, I don't remember what the name of the girl is, but it said, whatever the name of the girl is, falls in love, part one, I think. And I'm like, I'm excited. Because <laughs> the point with that girl they showed in the episode, she was looking at Koichi and Josuke, like, they were trying to figure out where to go, and she blushed a little, and I'm like, hmm, interesting. Does she have a crush on Josuke, or does she have a crush on Koichi? 
That's what I'm interested in knowing. Now, if it's a crush on jo uh, Josuke, not Jotaro, um, gosh, why do Josuke and Jotaro have to sound so familiar? Ah, okay. Because they're both Japanese names, so that's why it probably drives me insane. But anyway, I would like that, that Josuke would get a love interest. But on the other hand, if Koichi gets a love interest, that's even better. That would be really interesting. I would love to see that. Oh man, now I'm just really excited for the next episode because, oh, uh, oh, uh, just, I want it to be Friday, next Friday, come on. Oh, <laughs> uh, can, can, can I, uh, just, ah, uh, gosh, I just want it to be Friday already because I really want to see the next episode and I gotta hold myself back from reading the manga. I'm not reading the manga until this season ends and then, of course, we're gonna get another, another season of JoJo, I'm sure, so I'm probably never gonna read the manga because I, I just, I, I don't know, but, because if you, like, <laughs> If you read the manga and then the anime comes out, you know everything that's going to happen, and it's not a surprise at all. I experienced that with Noragami Season 2. Now, granted, I love Noragami Season 2, but it was just like, yeah, I knew all of that was going to happen. Hmm. But anyway, this episode of JoJo was great. I enjoyed it. I'm ready for the next one. Oh boy, it's going to be great, I hope. So, I'll see you guys in my next review of... Sakamoto, I believe. So yeah, I'll see you guys in that review. Okay? Bye!